everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to reach your goal for the year, the seven long-term strategies for success. If you want to learn a language in the new year, you may be wondering what the best way to do it is and what resources you need, right? The bad news, you can have the best possible resources in the world and still fail. Because above all, it's your approach, your strategies, and mindset that will help you succeed in the long run, not the latest new shiny app that just teaches you random words and phrases. So today, you'll discover the seven strategies for long-term success, why people fail their language New Year's resolutions, and how to apply these tips to your language learning journey in the new year. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Crush Your Goals Cheat Sheet. With this cheat sheet, you'll learn the basics of your target language. Basic sentence patterns, question words, must-know grammar terms, and more. Download it now for free. Second, what's your New Year's resolution? Can you say it in your target language? With this bonus phrase lesson, you'll be able to say the common goals, like read more, save money, and learn a language. Third, top seven lessons you'll need to improve your language skills. Here, you'll get seven lessons in one top 10 learning strategies, phrases to use with your teacher, ways to motivate yourself, and much more. Fourth, must know words and phrases for the new year. Do you know how to say new year in your target language? You will with this quick one minute vocab lesson. Fifth, the seven tested ways to learn language fast. With this bonus ebook, you'll learn how to use our learning system to speak better, remember more words, and improve fast. Download for free right now. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to reach your goal for the year, the seven long-term strategies for success. So what are these long-term strategies? Well, before we get into it, just keep this in mind. These tips and strategies won't be deep, profound quotes that will shake your soul and finally open your eyes. If those worked, you'd be fluent already. Most tips are very simple, but they only work when you take action. Again, results come from taking action, not listening to wise words. So the first strategy for long-term success is to keep at it. And that's because mastering a language is simply a function of time. The more you put in, the better you'll get. Obvious, right? But if you're excited to start now in January, it'll be easy to put in some time. However, you won't feel as excited in February, March, or April. You'll start falling off. You'll no longer be taking action on this advice and your language won't improve. So keeping at it is the key to success here and worth repeating no matter how obvious it is. You have to keep at it. It's like Einstein said, it's not that I'm smart, it's just that I stay with problems longer. The second strategy is try new things. You probably downloaded a free app or two to get started, and chances are you'll get bored of them within a month or two. Or you'll outgrow the basic apps that just teach you words, and that's normal. So that's why it's important to try new things, so you can keep going with your language learning. If you started with an app, try getting a textbook and a workbook. Try learning with our conversational audio and video lessons and follow the pathway from start to finish. Or try getting a teacher, whether an in-person teacher or a Premium Plus teacher that comes with the Premium Plus plan. The point is, you'll find that some methods are easier to stick with than others, and that's the goal, to find something you can stick with long-term and keep putting that time in. The third strategy for long-term success is be flexible with your goals and expectations. Which is something most people are not. Are you flexible with your goals? Leave us a comment. Most people, when they realize they won't hit a goal, take it as a brutal failure. They beat themselves up. 
They expected to be fluent by February. They didn't get what they expected. And they can't accept anything less. So for them, it becomes a big failure. And that's what you want to avoid doing. But the fact is, life will get in the way. You might be busy at work or school. You might get sick or whatever other curveball life likes to throw at us. And you won't learn as fast as you'd like. So you have to be flexible about your expectations. It's okay to pause your language learning for now and come back later. It's okay to miss a goal and it's okay to not progress as fast as you'd like. That doesn't mean you're failing at it. Some things are outside of your control. It just means you need more time. The fourth strategy is test your language skills. It's easy to tap on an app and think you're learning new words, but what if you aren't? You don't know if you're actually improving, right? So the best way to improve is to put your language skills to the test. And that can be anything from trying speaking to a native speaker to see how far you can go or signing up for a proficiency test. Anywhere where someone else judges your language skills. Then you can quickly see where you're lacking. With our learning system, we test you regularly with multiple choice and hand graded assessments inside your learning pathway. These assessments test you on the language you've learned in your last few lessons to make sure you're improving and retaining what you learn, you know, instead of hearing words once and forgetting them later. You can also interact with your Premium Plus teacher who will correct your language and help you improve faster. And if you want to improve even faster, the fifth strategy is involve other people in your learning journey. And this can be a teacher, other language learners, or native speakers. When you're around other people doing the same thing, it's much easier to stay motivated to learn the language. It's why nobody successfully works out from the comfort of their own home and why people go to gyms. And that's exactly why we offer live group classes for languages like Japanese, Korean, Spanish, Chinese, French, Italian, German, and more to our members. The sixth strategy for long-term success is use good old habits to get back on track. Simply put, if you have a language learning habit that you can stick to, even if it doesn't give you the best results, the fact that you can stick with it, that by itself is important. So if you fall off track and are wondering how to get started again, go back to a routine that works for you. For example, our users love our free word of the day emails for that very reason. It's just one word a day in your target language, but it's easy to stick with, and they feel like they're making some progress, even on days they're busy. And the seventh is always set small, measurable monthly goals. Instead of huge, unrealistic goals, like I wanna be fluent by July, or I just wanna speak the language. These big goals are the number one cause of failed New Year's resolutions. But if you make them smaller and more realistic, you can actually start reaching them. For example, something like, I want to learn 100 words by the end of January. 100 words is small and realistic enough. That's three to four words a day. 100 is also measurable. You'll always know how close you are to reaching it. And monthly gives you a deadline. End of the month, January 31st. Either you hit it or you don't. Other examples would be, do 30 lessons inside our learning pathway by January 31st. Speak one minute of your target language by January 31st. Or learn the alphabet by January 31st. What kind of small, measurable goal would you want to set? Leave a comment. So let's recap the seven strategies for long-term success. Keep at it, try new things, be flexible with your goals and expectations, test your language skills, involve other people in your language journey, use good old habits to get back on track, set small, measurable monthly goals instead of huge, unrealistic goals. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about the brand new updates and news about our learning system. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye.